There have been two other highly requested topics on the back burner for a time that I think should finally be brought front and center. World regrowth and world generation settings. Both confuse the heck out of folks, but I don't blame you. So it's why we'll focus on just regrowth for today. And two things to note right off the bat, not everything in this game can benefit from natural world regrowth, and there are actually three different types of regrowth itself. So hold on to your butts. This will not only be another heavy commentary video, things may get even more confusing along the way. But let's begin with the first type of regrowth, called, well, Regrowth. It applies to but four things in this game, believe it or not. Carrots found naturally dotted about the world. The flowers of the plains, which is something people always give me crap for, but more on that later. Rabbit holes, which in fact we just talked about not too long ago. And lastly, the light flowers of Down Under. These four things are indeed capable of regrowth, but what are the whens and a hows of it all? Well, this is where things get a little too interesting for some of you, I'm sure. But let's say you pick a character to naturally as you're running about the world. When that happens, a 20-day timer starts, and after that's finished, the game will attempt to respawn or regrow those carrots somewhere in a five tile radius from its initial spawn. The heck does that even mean though? Well, tiles in this game can be represented via a pitchfork for the most part. So again, the game will try to spawn another carrot anywhere in a five tile radius from the first carrot's original spawn. Makes sense? Good, because that was the easy bit, as not only will this 20-day regrowth timer stop during every single night and throughout the entirety of winter, therefore extending that 20-day timer essentially, if the game randomly decides to try and respawn another carrot or any of the entities to follow too close to another one, it will just cancel the regrowth and restart the timer completely. All this to say that the world may or may not play nice when it comes to regrowth itself. All the while, literally everything is out of your control. But what about the other stuff, like rabbit holes and such? Well, the good news is that unlike carrots, the animals that eat them only take five days to quote unquote regrow their homes once they've been dug up. And yes, even with the resident rabbit dead as the world will just take care of it there. However, this will only occur during summertime. So if you've dug up their holes in any other season, the rabbit slash the world will not respawn another rabbit hole. So be mindful there. Oh, and that same five tile radius thing actually still applies here and will do so until I tell you otherwise. Moving on to light flowers and they too share that five day regrowth time, which is great. But even better is the fact that they will regrow at any time during any season. So in lamest terms, if you or something else has destroyed some light flower spawns, then the game will attempt to regrow more every five days. But no Noticed how I said destroyed though? Seeing as you can't dig up or simply pick light flowers out of existence like carrots or flowers per se, the regrowth of them only occurs if the entire entity is wiped from the world, like with fire for example. But speaking of, let's talk normal flowers and perhaps it is time to put this one to rest. As I've been telling people for years now that flowers respawn consistently through many various means. However, they've just never Never seem to believe me, but here are the facts. Flowers have a 30 second regrowth time, meaning the game attempts to spawn more every 30 seconds when one has been picked and or destroyed otherwise. But this only occurs when the ground is wet after rainfall. And by the way, if you never knew, you can tell if the ground is wet via some wet blotches on the ground. Do note. It also cannot be night or winter, however, that's kind of obvious, I think. However, the timer reduces to 15 seconds during spring, which is absolutely phenomenal. But 
Wait a minute, Beard. Don't flowers still just regrow in the rain anyways? Yes and no, my friend. Regrowth only applies to things that have been picked and or destroyed by us or the world. So technically, the flowers being potentially spawned during rainfall are actually entirely new ones, not ones regrown through regrowth. So, in short, flowers bloody respawn all the bloody dang time, people. And this isn't even counting how bees repopulate them. Oof, that was a lot and probably boring. And that was just the first type of regrowth, for heaven's sake. But thankfully, the next two are much easier to understand. Offspring regrowth is next and is all about trees and how forests continue to grow to be self-sustaining. Take, for example, normal evergreens here. Every five days, the actual tree itself will try to spawn a sapling around it. Yes, the actual evergreen does this. In fact, all of them are doing it. It won't do it come winter, but will really attempt to do it come summertime. However, the main issue is that there must be less than five trees of the same type nearby in order for said sapling to actually spawn. And it could be very finicky, as it's truly up to the game whether or not it's gonna happen. And if it doesn't, that timer resets until it can finally spawn a sampling under the proper circumstances. This is helped, though, through clearing surrounding trees, obviously, and we kind of just do that unwittingly as we play along. For lumpy evergreens, that timer is 8 days actually, however, it will attempt to plant additional saplings in any season. So it is almost in constant regrowth per se, as long as the 5 tree radius constraint is constantly met. Oh, and now that I see it on the screen here, the same goes for twiggy trees. 8 days and any season. And you know what? Maybe we should talk about twiggy trees one of these days. For birch nut trees, the regrowth time is but 3 days. However, it will only attempt to plant more birch nut saplings in spring and spring alone. And do still keep in mind the constraint of other nearby trees as it still applies. And I just want to throw this in because this is kind of the point of the video. World regrowth is absolutely going to happen in the background, and chances are, you are never going to see it actually happen. But moving on to the three mush tree variants, and their timer remains at three days, but their regrowth will only attempt to occur in their corresponding seasons. Winter for blue mush trees, summer for red, and spring for green. So, make note. And finally, even the loon trees of the lunar island can regrow, and appropriately enough, the regrowth timer is at its best come a full moon. Absolutely magnificent. And I gotta be honest, I actually don't even know if they can grow outside of the moon cycle. But the last type of regrowth is called desolation regrowth, and it is the simplest one to understand. Let's say you set fire to a large number of any of the types of trees that we just mentioned, and then proceeded to work on clearing most of the burned out forests for charcoal. After 50 days and of course a few specific constraints along the way, the game will literally just start spawning new trees to replace all the ones that were lost, aka just replacing the spawn points almost. Sounds simple enough, because it is. However, there are some issues here. No season is 50 days long. So yes, this process could take literal years to occur in-game for some of these trees. So it's kind of just insane to think about all of this happening in the background all the time. It might take ages, but the world will regrow our forests, trees, and even some of our resources. But again, you just probably won't see it happen. And there you have it, everyone. World regrowth in Don't Starve Together as best as I could explain it. But hold up, Beard. Are you really meaning to tell me that things like berry bushes, grass tufts, and saplings aren't even a part of regrowth? Yup. They aren't. Only in endless and or wilderness mode will these resources respawn. And even then, they will do so near the florid postern and not actually out in the world itself. But hold up times two, Beard. What about rocks and such? Well... Yeah, boulders respawn via meteor showers and whatever, but that is world-slash-resources renewability. 
not regrowth. And there is a big difference. What you see is what you get. This is what world regrowth actually covers. So thanks for watching, folks. Sorry if I confused you even more, but know this again. World regrowth will handle itself and do what it wants when it wants. So just keep playing as usual. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.